Hello, we meet again. At follow the best channel. In this video just only educational purposes between Christians and Muslims. And this time Mr. Ahmed EX Muslim will give many Muslims educations the truth about Jesus Christ. Now, let's look at what Muslims said to Ahmad X Muslim so we can learn the truth from them. So enjoy watching video. Please share, comment and subscribe this channel. God bless you. Let's see next customer. Good morning, good day. Salam Muta. Are you Muslim, alhamdulillah Jesus? Yes, I'm a Muslim. So you believe Allah is a God, right? No, He is the only God. He has no so God. So you believe He is a God or not? I believe He is God. Okay, so why you said no? I believe he himself is Oh, God. so all the Muslim da'wah learning, however any non-Muslim said anything, just say no. And after that, try to understand what he what he's saying, right? Again, I, I you don't are get a Muslim, you. right, brother? Yes. You believe Allah is a God, right? He is God. He doesn't have a God. So you believe he is a God, right? Yes, he is a God. Cool. So where is your Allah? In the seventh heaven. In seventh heaven, on a throne. Yes. Right? Yes. He has a yes. direction, right? What direction? Location. Yes, he has a place. location in the seventh heaven. He has a He's... place. He has a yes. place. Yes. How can someone limited on his place become God? It doesn't make any sense, bro. No, the fact that he is in a place doesn't make him limited. That is because he is more aware of what is even running so in your blood So you are trying to say your Allah is everywhere? He is aware of everything that is everywhere. So the question for you, brother. Do you believe your Allah is everywhere? Or he has only one spot? He is in the seventh heaven. That is so. Where which he means is. he has a spot. He is not everywhere, right? Yes, I agree with you. He is not everywhere which means, physically. Which means, which means, he is limited on his spot. That is not limitation. It depends on how you how? see it. If he because is not, if slowly, slowly, brother, I'm trying to understand your opinion. If he okay. is, if he is. He has a spot. If yes. he has a spot and he is in his spot. Yes. How can someone in his spot be unlimited? Do you allow his because, That is because he can do everything everywhere. I'm not asking if he can do or no. I'm not asking about his power. That's what limitation is. Limitation is you, you not having understand. the capacity you, you to do something brother, because you are in Zeus. a certain situation. Zeus, I'm you with you, I'm with you. The question not about his power. The question about his being. Yes. Not on his power, on his being. Your Allah being everywhere or he has a spot. Allah is in heavens. But so according to what he has a spot. Yes. Right? So he's yes. not everywhere he's been. Yes. He's that's everywhere he he's been. Yes, he's that's been. why he descends to the first ah. heaven at night. Bravo. Which means he's been he has a limitation spot. On you see, throne. limitation is when you don't have the capacity. Your scholar said, something. your prophet Muhammad, your prophet Muhammad said that, not me. Said what? Your prophet Muhammad said, he is on a throne. And yes. Ibn Abbas said, with limit. With limits? Yes. What, 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 where is, yes. where are you stating let me, let me, let me bring the hadith for you. Then bring the hadith. So now you're saying you're Allah on a throne, right? Yes. He has a spot, right? 
So yes, he's yeah. that make him that make him. He's been everywhere. You are you are complicating the whole thing. Limitation is you not having the capacity to do something because you are in a certain position. Now that is not it does not apply to God. Hence there is no limitation in his case. We he are can not do talking whatever about God. We're talking about your Allah. Don't twist it. I'm, to, I'm, to, I'm talking about Allah. No, now. no, no, no. What's no. the meaning of Allah? Nobody believes that, only Muslims. So we are not talking about God. When you said God, which means everybody believes in that. <laughs> no, only Muslims believe in that. Lord We're talking Allah. about Allah. So don't, you are don't trying twist to it, twist, please. But I will go, I will go no, with the no, 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 no. I'm referring don't to Allah. Don't twist it, Habibi, Habibi, Habibi. Don't twist it. Stick on your Allah. Okay? Yeah. Fine. Go ahead. Go answer. Take your time. Go answer, brother. Take your time. Prove your Allah is in unlimited. He's yes, not that's limited. what I just told you. Now, so Allah, the, your Allah, the meaning of limitation. Will, okay. So the your Allah of, when? Oh, okay, okay. I will answer. I will answer. Till I found the hadith. So when your Allah he will come down a third part of the night to lowest yes. heaven. Yes. His throne he will uh, he will descend from his throne to lowest heaven, right? Yes. Which means his throne will be above them. Right? Yes. Which means he will enter to the seven heaven, right? I don't get what you are saying. He descends. So your Allah, now, listen, listen. Now, your Allah in seven heaven, right? Yes. He will descend every day to third part of the night to lowest heaven. He is an above. He will descend to the lowest heaven, right? Yes. Which means he entered to his creation, right? Enter to his creation. Yes. He I, passed I, I, I don't okay. Force words let me go me. slowly. Let me go slowly, slowly with you for you understand. Right? So yes. you're Allah and the seven. He will pass the six and fifth and four and three and two. He will stick on the first heaven. Which means he enter all those heavens. And the heavens is creation, right? Now you see means, we are going into means, you know just you know that, God, bro you misunderstanding you are making so when you're allowed then I want leave to tell everything you what's... leave leave everything leave everything leave everything now you're Allah in the seven heaven he will descend to lowest heaven right yes he is not he is not on the throne anymore because he descend right I I can't you know Allah says we shouldn't say what we don't know about him now you are going too far your prophet Muhammad to... your prophet Muhammad said that authentic hadith come on bro yes when he descends I don't know whether he so when Allah throne. when a third part and third part of the night the lowest heaven from his throne yes so you're Allah on the throne because Quran said that Right? It, that's where you are getting it wrong. Now, I don't your know Allah, if he descends brother, with the throne. Brother, brother, your Allah said in Quran, Ar-Rahmanu yes. ala al-Arsh istawa. Right? Allah yes. is on a throne. Right? Yes. And the throne is above seven heavens. Right? Yes. Cool. So, Allah, he will come down every day from seven heaven to lowest heaven. Right? Yes. Yes. Which means your Allah is not on a throne anymore when he descends to Allah. That Stephen, is your right? own. That's why I said Prove he it can to me. descend with his throne. I don't know. Uh -oh. The issue uh -oh. is I know that he descends. That's the so idea. So he descends, which means the throne yes. become above Allah. That is, you see, what if he descends with his throne? The issue no. is I the don't seven know. Heaven. With it. So where you are Allah, trying to give details that I don't know of. Let me give you. Let me give you the hadith. I do agree with you that he descends, right? So I'm he will that come down, he will descend this. from seven heaven to lowest heaven, right? Yes, yes. Okay, done. If he is everywhere, don't need it to descend. If he is everywhere, not limited, see, don't need it to descend. How can issue, someone unlimited everywhere to descend? 
I descend from many floor to the basement. Why? Because I am limited. I'm not everywhere. I descend from main floor to basement. How about your Allah? If your Allah is unlimited, don't need it to descend from a throne to lowest heaven. Right? Now, the issue is there is always distance when you are farther from a location. Now, him being closer, it doesn't mean he couldn't have done it where he was. But rather, he is closer to you. That is the idea you need to understand. His knowledge. Now, his knowledge. You, no, no, no. Don't, don't cut off. No, no. Don't cut off the verse. You cut it off the verse. What? what Continue verse? the verse. He said, his knowledge with you. Yes. My knowledge also. I am unlimited with my knowledge. Do you no, want you Australia? I can wait. No, no, no. no, no wait, 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 wait. My knowledge also is unlimited. Do you want Australia? I can show you Australia now from my laptop and I give you the good news and the news on Australia from laptop. Do you want a knowledge about Japan? I will give you from my laptop. You want about the Venus? I will tell you what uh, happening in a Venus uh, from my laptop using Check Google, unlimited Check Google. So fine. If I'm not talking about his knowledge. I'm talking about his being. Yes, it, he is with that is in his own situation. He can with respond. With his knowledge, wahawa, wah, no. Ma you see, you see, with you cannot, knowledge. you cannot respond, bro. Your Allah, what he said in Quran. Yes. Your Allah said in Quran, wa lahum Qurana, which means he Allah assigned, appointed, assigned it, appointed with you. Yes. Two. Raqib, Atid. Malak here, angel, right shoulder, angel yes. left yes. shoulder, and start writing and sending facts to Allah. For that, your Allah has a knowledge about you because He assigned two angels and devil with you. For that, your Allah has a assign. knowledge. I'm not asking what? He didn't assign a devil to you. you are, making are you sure? Think. Do you read the Quran before? Assigned. Do you know what assigned? Do you yes. Assigned. assigned. Yes, assigned. Appointed. Assigned. Do you want so me who prove is it the for you? He assigned no, from Quran. Yes. Do you want me prove Great it for point. you? From Quran. Your Allah assigned the devil with you. Prove it. If I prove it, you will left this religion. Why are you making assertions? Okay, because your Allah is a devil. I can, I can Why are you worshiping the devil? Now open with me from your Quran. Do you have a Quran? I don't have with me presently. Oh, smash Allah. I will show you from here. Write it down. Chapter 41. Um, no. Let's see. Yes. Chapter 41, Surah Fussilat, verse number 25. Okay. 41, says what? 25. You can, you can, you can, how will I even put it? You can dictate it. Just a second. Now, chapter 41, Surah Fussilat, verse 25. In Arabic. وَقَيَّضْنَا لَهُمْ قُرَنَا Boom! We no, assigned it. Go to the translation. Companion yes. for them. Boom! Uh -huh. Go to companion. other translation. Companion, not companion. Companions from them. Who is those? Let's see the other for translation. Them. This is devil. I from don't understand. What? What? Okay. Where, is, where did he say, and we assigned a devil to them? That is what you are supposed to show. We have what? Assigned to them. Close companions. Who made their past and present look attractive to them. Who, who attractive, attractive to them? And the angels or devils? Huh? 
I, I don't know any huh? specific. Who attractive to the people, angels or devils? <laughs> Go to the other translation. And appointed. I, we have a. Okay. So here he said, Minajin. Companion of what? No, this is yeah, this is something that you read from the uh, read. column. Okay, let's go to where? Let's go to Quran. So, so, so now, if you talk uh -huh. of companions, wait. Let's see the rich wait. people. Wait, before. wait, 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 wait. What is this? Quran.com, right? Yes, yes. Cool. Chapter forty-one. Verse we said twenty-five. Okay. This is twenty-five. And we have Wakayobna Lahum Lahum Purana Purana Med their sin mid fair semen. To them, companions. What me for? Uh -huh. Before them. Uh -huh. And what? Behind them. What? And is justified against them. The word among nations. Ba pass away before them before them from a companion of what the genus the gene see okay. so now who use the devils according to quran to attractive them to attractive the disbelievers according to quran who use devils no, nobody uses them. They use themselves. No, someone. No, no. From Quran. Is, I will prove it for you. Just come down. Who use the devils in Quran? Who use the devils to push to attractive disbeliever for commit sin? Allah or Shaitan? Is Shaitan that does that? That's Shaitan, right? So yes. only the Shaitan. He used the devils, attractive, the disbeliever, to commit sin. Right? Yes. Bravo. Let's see who is the shaitan according to Quran. Huh? Flip the camera. And we go back again to Quran. And we go to chapter 19, Surah Maryam. And we go to verse 83. Let's see who use the devils. Eighty two, eighty three, right? Let's see. Do not you see that we have sent the devils upon the disbelievers instigate them Bo who talking here Allah Allah he used the devils to instigate and attractive the disbelievers according to you the devil he used the devils so exactly I... 100% because uh, Allah you know, is there a is devil. A complete tafsir where these things are being debunked. Do you wanna? Do you wanna go complete tafsir? This... Let's go to the Arabic. Let's go to here. Wait, I will show you the tafsir here. Here, this website have a tafsir. Chapter nineteen. Which tafsir you favorite? You like it? Which tafsir? Huh? This is chapter nineteen. Do you not see that we have set 
the devils against the infidels to rouse and instigate them right let's go to tafsir we have tafsir. Said, no it's not said, yeah, it's said. yeah said allah the is saying no it's not the said, devils said. it's set the word there is set do you not see do you not see set. that we have set what does set meaning Huh? What does set the devil's meaning? So if you have been set, wait, have wait, equal wait, opinions. bro. What does set devil's meaning in English? Placed the devils. Haha. <laughs> Here in Arabic, is that send same meaning or not? No, this is English. Let's go with it because you, I, I can't just put any kind of word. That's why we okay, have to. Okay, now we will go to where? Says. We will go to where? To Tafsir. Yes. Ibn Abbas. Tanwir al Maqbas. Min Tafsir Ibn Abbas. Read, the brother. This thou not. You have not been informed. Oh, Muhammad. That we have set the devils on these believers to confound them with confusion. They forcefully drive them to disobey Allah and strongly incite them to do so. So basically, wow. yes, the devil, the devil so pushes me to do a lot of bad things. Yes. So you're uh, who sent him? Now the issue is that is who sent him upon from... you? Who sent him upon you to commit sin? You're Allah. You're Allah sent him. Why your Allah didn't guide you? Didn't send angels? Why Allah used devils? Now they there is the Quran. Angels. You have been having doctrines to guide you. Now no, the no, fact no, no, that no, no. something deviates makes you to deviate. You're twisted. No, you're twisted. I'm not twisted. Now listen, you twisted. No, no. I'm, I know what you're trying to do, but it's big difference so far. Why? Because the God should be good, right? Yes, he the is. The God, because the Creator should be good. And the God never, never, ever use devils to attract you, to push you for you commit sin. Only the devil can use devils. Why? For mislead you to commit sin. It's not test to give you chance to choose. No, you see, God never says not the best test, among you are bro, not those that, do not, that don't sin. He said do, big, they are those that repent. Now the big issue difference is difference between in test as much as and push. In, you see, I used difference. to agree with. I used to agree You're with Allah your Allah instigate them with you. He not gave you free. You, do well, you understand that as to Muslims test you, yeah, I that understand the mother language. The whole world and is Allah a language. test. Do you understand that the whole to Muslims? If the test, he has to give him a free, uh, a free uh, give you free will, yes. not set, not set the devils to instigate no, you, to they push you, for yes, you become sinner. No, it's not sinner. Is not it is this. a test. That is test. Now you have so now, to win. And for example, let me give you an example. Let me give you an example. Now in your, for example, you have a test in the school. Yes. Did the teacher came to give you wrong answer? Yes. In you? fact, in options. And when you writing, answers. when you writing the test answers. I I don't get what teacher, you are saying. If the teacher gave you wrong answer when you write yes. which means he's what do you misleader. see in multiple options he's a misleader if, no if if you yes. have been given a test let's when, say because there is no chance after two. that 
Bro, no, there is no down. chance after you finish you, you the brought, test. You brought a ground and do you, you are trying say, to use it to okay. justify. A brother, a brother Zeus, do you say yes? after do I... the test, do you, do you think after the test, you finish the test, after yes. the test, there is, they will give you chance again? There is or no chance. directly, directly, directly to see if you are a pass or false. The idea is there is always after a... you finish the test. After you finish the test, there is any chance? There is no chance. Bravo. So why your Allah instigate? And you said this is test. Why your Allah mislead you in a test? It is not misleading. That is because mm -hmm. the guidance is there also. Uh -huh. Now there are the, uh -huh. yes, you need to, you need you to start, use your intellect. Now you start to jumping. Now I'm you not start jumping. To jumping. No, because of you first speak of all, of only you one side of it. No, no, you said test. How can Allah test you with assign it? the devils with you for those devils and to get you push you to commit sin you said yes, test. someone has to yes someone has to push what you kind to of test test. in a final you see, exam you see you see after choice, the final exam there is no more choice choice has to come from an option right what is the choice do you have a choice yes no you don't have a choice <laughs> You see, the, you idea, the, whole, the whole idea is the bad Bro. side of it, right? They Bro, tempt you. The then this is now where the clarity, the which is now a message from him. Hello. This has been... Mister. Do you, Mister, do you, Mister. Do you agree where with the, the past process? If you're Allah, where the choice? If you're Allah, assign it the devils with you. And send the devils to you. To instigate you, he Where did not chance? send. He did not send. What? He, he did not what? send them to. In Arabic, literally test. said, "We have sent." Set. Sent in Arabic, arsalna. You see, you are giving. This is we are using the word that showed in your translation. I Thank you for coming, Habibi. Thank you yeah. for coming, Brother it. Ahmed. Can I read the Bible verse? Go ahead, brother. I feel tired. Go ahead. Yeah. I feel angry also. I have a lot. Yeah. So people are not getting the point you're making, I guess, or this guy, because how can God send demons to us? Like Lucas 11, 14, 23. I won't read the whole passage, but Jesus said, Jesus was here driving out a demon and then was mute. And when the demon was got, has gone out, the mute man spoke and the crowds were amazed. Some of them said, by the power of Belzebub, the prince of demons, he drives out demons. Others, to test him, asked him for a sign from heaven. But he knew their thoughts and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself will be laid waste, and house will fall against house. And if Satan is divided against himself, how will this kingdom stand? So they accused Jesus, they're testing Jesus, that he was no using the power of the demons, to drive out demons. Now, there's a different contrast to what we have here because Jesus here is on earth casting out demons out of people. And now on the other side, Allah is the one that is sending demons upon us. Do we not see the contrast? If the one who is sending demons to you, then what's the point of everything? That means that Allah is the one that deceives because if your own creator is sending demons to be attached and assigned to you, then what is the point of everything? That is a kingdom that is united. That means that Allah and the devils are one kingdom. They work together in contrast with Jesus when he's on earth casting out demons out of people. He is saying, you know, I'm not working with the devil because what's the point of me casting out demons and I'm here at his kingdom and that wouldn't make sense because 
that would mean that a house is divided, the kingdom is divided. But here Allah is sending demons to people, assigning to people. That means that Allah and the devils, they have a kingdom united. Do you guys see? So there's no way that this God can truly be the God of all creation and a God of love. I mean, I mean, I mean, brother, God bless you. There is difference between Satan and the Almighty God. Allah assigned the devils with you. Allah push you to become sinner. Even Allah mislead the devils. Do you know Allah, he mislead the devil? And the source, the, 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 the proof from Quran, the proof from Quran, Allah, he mislead the devil. But it's not my job now. Now my topic is still, if Allah is God, how can be God limit? direction it doesn't make any sense for anybody however we have an answer let's see um, mr. Yaya come on Yahya Yarara, what's the problem here mm. there is no problem there is no problem handicap or shepherd say bye to the camera Ra ra ra, you are the problem. Go down. Kids. And pumpkins. Wow, el marbuta. Lord of Freddy. Hey, shalom, brother David. How you doing? Shalom, brother. How are you doing? <laughs> Good, good. I, I was actually requesting, and I think Michael gave that verse too. Uh, you know, there's a verse in the Bible that says that uh, God is not able to tempt us. I was, I was calling to uh, give that also to give the contrast, but I think Brother Michael did a good job on that. Amen, brother. Amen. God bless yeah. you. Mm -hmm. God bless you, brother. You are very. It's true, brother, because. If Allah is the one sending devils, assigning them to us, then Allah is the devil. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that verse is James chapter 113. And not only that, if we open it, for example, Surah Muhammad, is a crazy Surah Muhammad, and, um, sorry, if we open it, Surah Ibrahim, Surah Rat, Surah Mudathir, Surah Ghafir, Surah Fatir, all those Surah, Allah, He do same thing. Allah mislead the people. And if we open Surah Nisa, chapter 4, verse 60, also Allah mislead the people. So if even Allah mislead the devil, do you know that? Allah mislead the devil. The devil is a poor creation. He do nothing. He is a poor. Allah mislead him. Ahmed, can you can you imagine you have your child and you're teaching him the Quran, and then at this point you tell him, you know, Allah sent devils to assign, and your child is like, um, Papa, why is Allah sending devils upon us? Now, you either gotta lie. To, to try and explain your way out of that because there's no way there's no answer you can give you have to lie <laughs> Shaza, Shazi, I will give you one more chance but to try to listen okay. and talk let's, uh, also. let's make a deal not just on let's, the not just no, on I the listen talking. to you I listen to you Shaza, are you um, marriage do you marriage sorry I just want to pray for your husband because he did a miracle. Trust me. He Ahmed, did a miracle. I'm why? listening to you. To why? Because he has like you. Beautiful. Ahmed, are you willing never, to listen to the never answer? Never stop talking. Are you willing to listen to the answer once you talk? Yes. So the okay. question is, please guys, uh, pray for her husband. 
please, guys. Seriously, no, I'm that's saying. not. No, the question is the one you put if on him. If I am your husband, I will kill myself. Seriously. Or I will doubt myself is, in this any is, hole. Allah is not the God question me is, wrong. That's the so, question. Yeah, the, the question, this so me question, but everywhere, every time, sister, Shaza, yes. every time we have one topic under this main name. For but example, yesterday topic, we talk. Yeah. This is the topic? Ah, prove Allah. Do God, we agree go, that this go, is the topic? Line. Allah is God what help me wrong. Please, God help me. Go, go, prove whatever you want. Choose, pick and choose, and approve. Okay, go. so can I answer? Yeah. I just want to know one thing. Just one thing. Mm. Why you need proof when you are telling me that you have no doubt on your answer? You're saying to me, Allah is not God. That's what I get from this topic. Is that what you're saying? Got it. Uh, finish it, sorry. Is Are that you what you're continue? saying? Do we agree you that you're me? saying Allah okay. is not God? Oh, you didn't give me a chance to talk also. Okay, Again. I give you a chance. Okay. On, you Are you looking for answer or you want to talk over me? No, I don't want to talk over you. I'd rather you talk and then I'll talk. Okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I appreciate it's it. your life. I know. You try. You try a lot to, you know, to give me a chance to talk. Thank okay. you so much. I appreciate it. No, I've been listening yes. to you for like one and a half hours. Finish it. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, first of all, sister, what I'm trying to do, I'm trying yeah. to prove to you this handicap impossible to be creator. Impossible. Why? Because he is 100% the devil. Even the devil unlimited according to Islam. But Allah limited. So stay away from them because he is today in a hell. He's, he will be the day of judgment in a hell fire, according to your Prophet Muhammad in authentic hadith. And he, in Quran, he proved and admitted he's a sinner. So how can I believe there is a God, the Creator, the Almighty, he is a misleader. He is the best of deceivers. He even mislead the devil. And he is a sinner. And he will enter to the hellfire. It doesn't make sense, sister. Be careful. This is devil. It's not yeah. almighty God. You have a, a lot of knowledge because you I clearly, have, a proof. You clearly have read a lot of things. But I for that look here, sister. Go on. Mm -hmm. See this step? Okay. See? Okay. And just to try even Quran. And try to tell you stay safe. Far away from this devil. Allah is a devil. If you want, so, open okay. with me now, chapter 34, verse 25. I, and tell I, me who talking here. No, no, I don't want to go to specific questions. That would be unfair. It's like me and you talking and me, you picking on one word and then not listening to the conversation. So do you believe, do you believe that God should be 100% good. Ahmed, Do tell me that? Tell Or me the one God one. maybe Why? have and have good and bad. Sometimes, according to his mood, will be bad. And according to his mood, will be good. Which okay, one do you believe? If you, if you the, are claiming, or you've got, you've got, you're telling me you've got proof, and you've read a lot of things, and you've got quite a lot of knowledge. I can I can tell because you're answering with the backup that you've got. Who do you who do you believe God is? Only one Creator. He's all loving. He loves okay. His creation. 
yeah. one the one. He is Jesus Christ. Okay. According to Quran and Sunnah and the Bible. So after all your investigation, because you, you clearly must have read the Bible, you've read the Quran, you've read Al Bukhari, you're telling me this. You've uh, worked out, or you saying that Jesus Christ is God? Yes. He's a creator. He's the creator. He's not lowercase God. Okay, he's the creator. He is a creator, Almighty, Infinity. So then, unlimited. then why, then why are you asking the question to prove when you have the why? proof? Okay. Why are you saying so, prove Allah okay. is not good? Why are you okay. still okay. in doubt? Okay, I got it. Let me answer. Yeah. Cool. Now, if you are seeing someone, your neighbor, if you see your neighbor, he is in a fire. He born in a fire. What you try to do? You try to save him or not? So, or just okay. you want to watch? I, I just watch and go away. One. So you're trying you to watch. save you're trying to save people i'm trying to save you from the hell fire only one he can protect you and guarantee the heaven for you he is jesus christ only one he wants you to the go to go to the hell fire he's allah snakebar according to quran so, but you're trying to save you're telling yes. me you're, you're trying yes. to save everybody i'm trying i'm trying try to to um tell you you will be safe only one way but how are you saving if you're disrespecting how how i disrespecting Can because you if me? you are you know if you if no. i say let's go on simpler terms if you like something and how, I like no, no, I'm else. saying how I disrespecting that no can because prove, the word you you're me? using and it when you're saying Allah and then you're saying the next word so do you, you tell do you now if I wanna be or if I according your opinion if I will be good person I have to say Allah is Almighty I didn't say that. Okay, he is a snake bar because he is a snake. Because he wants you to go to the hellfire. Mm -hmm. How can I give him good name? You, you, you. He called you piece of shit in Quran. You he have. Called you the woman, no, no, he called the woman. He called the woman piece of shit. Women have a high ranking. He he so, called the woman like that. You, no, no, let's stay where you were. You've been disrespecting Allah, and Smash you've Allah. been so you've I been disrespect. I disrespect this handicap, the devil, or I disrespect the human. Huh? I, di I disrespect the devil. Allah this is not how to, if you had a message, and you. if you was truly truthful sister, with what sister, you're saying, you're telling me sister, you're saving everybody. If hello, you're saving everybody, hello, okay, hello, go. hello, you are not looking for the truth. For that, <laughs> if someone called you piece of shit, and someone promised you to the hellfire, do you and me respect him? You but you're telling him? me you're trying to save people from yes, the hellfire. Yes, because you guys, you guys, you guys never <laughs> use your brain. No, if no, your if brain not, not be shot, if your brain not be shot, you never use your brain. But you're brand new, still a brand new. You're saying that Jesus Why? Christ is because the you fear this Jesus handicap. Jesus Christ, the Creator doesn't tell you to be disrespecting and being like this he tells you about love he didn't tell me to respect the devil but you're talking he you're didn't. talking to people you're talking this hey, i'm talking to you anymore. to show you this handicap is a devil and you have a free will to worship him no no sorry i am not. willing to listen 
I'm willing to Don't listen. Don't need it. Thank you for him. coming, sister. But you're not listening. Thank you for coming. Yes. Yes. She already tried to say that. He accepted whatever Allah is. No problem. But don't talk about Allah. When you talk about Allah, which means you disrespect Allah. Directly. When you talk about Allah, which means you are disrespecting Allah. But this time, I can give you good news, brother Muslim. Report from now till next year. The life is safe. Look. But now, I'm recording. I will start every single time to record. Let's see Filsan. Come on, Filsan. <sighs> Filsan. Filsan is gone. Filsan is gone. Smash Allah. Come on, Omar. Omar is gone. Smash Allah. Smash Allah. Bix. Come on, Bix. Salamu muta, brother. Salamu muta. What is Salamu Muta? Because that's not a greeting. Which that's means, not a Muslim way of which greeting. Which means peace and enjoying. Are you Muslim? That's not how, you, that's, not, that's, not how uh, that's not how Muslims greet each other. You know. Uh, I'm not Muslim. I'm not Muslim. You are not Muslim. Handicap so shut the fuck up your mouth. Shut the fuck up your mouth and don't be, just say hello. Preach, preach Quran, preach Quran. And that is Islam. Zain Muhammad, come on. Smash Allah, brother. Smash Allah. Smash Allah. Salamu muta Zain. Are you Muslim, alhamdulillah, Jesus? Yes, I am. Cool. And you believe Allah is a God? I believe Allah is a God. How can God be limited? In his creation how can, God be? how can the God be limited in his creation I I don't think he's limited I'm not I'm not asking about your opinion Habibi because your religion yeah. not according your opinion your religion call Allah call so, Rasul, okay. Quran and Sunnah right okay I, I, I have I have one question and I humbly ask if I can ask so you don't have an answer. No, no. I have a, I have a small question, and I want to. You believe, you believe Allah is a God, but you yes. don't believe Allah is unlimited. Allah is not unlimited. Allah is limited, right? No, he's not. He's not unlimited, and he's not limited. He can't be. Uh, Cucumber. I found the answer. Cucumber. Hmm. He's not unlimited and he's not limited, which means meta limited. No, he can't be. Or he's unlimited. Have limitations. He doesn't have a limitation. So mm -hmm. when he descend from seven heaven to lowest heaven, that is not limitation. If he descend, if he chooses to descend from the. I'm not saying if he choose. His job to descend. Okay, his job is to descend. Yeah. Does it matter if he comes down or stays up there? Does he come with his throne or not? Can you prove it? He stay on a throne when he came down. I'm, I'm just saying that if you try, if you're going to work, yes, when he came down the throne, because the throne is not no Allah anymore bicycle, on the throne. Does when it when he descend, there is no more Allah on the throne. If you say so. No, not if I am say so. If you have an answer to prove I am wrong, have a source, Quran and Sunnah, go ahead. 
But does it matter that he leaves the throne behind and descends down? Or so he leaves the throne him? and he leaves the throne and he descends to lowest heaven. What that mean? No, I'm asking, is there a difference if he does leave the throne and come down or if he stay, comes down with the throne? A big difference. Okay, explain please. Explain, okay. Yes. You are very welcome. Thank you for coming. When I become Sheikh, I will open my channel to explain the religion for you. Allah Ta'ala Qala Fi Kitab Bihil Aziz Oh my worshippers! Explain. Yeah. Come on bro. Do you see my your Sheikh? I'm in your Mufti. I'm not your Sheikh. I have a question. I'm looking for answer. Come on bro. You're confusing. You're thinking I am Sheikh. And I came to guide you to worship Allah Snakebar. No Habibi. I'm not your Sheikh. If you have an answer, you are very welcome. Doesn't have an answer. Go to your Sheikh. Ask him to give you answer. Come back to me. Okay? Yeah. Well, it seems like nobody can win the four hundred dollars. Let's see Saber. I'm not explaining for a free specific Muslim. Muslim, if you want me to explain it to you. Go ahead. Support Allah. Support Allah for I support you. Right? If you didn't support Allah, how can I support you? According Quran. Nothing free in Islam, Habibi. Nothing free. Even the Sheikh, when he explained the religion for you, he get paid. Right? When your Sheikh, he explained it, or if he read it, the Ruqya for you, you will pay him. Right? Nothing for free, Habibi, in Islam. Nothing for free. Business is business. Pay, explain. No pay, no explain. Done. Welcome to Islam. Take beer, take whiskey, Salama take Muta. Miranda. Allah was skydiving and he was descending. He was skydiving, man. And he Sky dive. for explain it to him when Allah uh, descend from seven heaven to lowest heaven. So apparently <laughs> he was on a um, you know, he was on a plane and he jumped off the plane and he basically had like a parachute. So he went skydiving onto his lowest heaven and then he pulled out his parachute to get to this destination. So basically, I, I don't know how he put out his parachute when his arm is on the other side. So I'm like, <laughs> how is that possible, you know? And Allah Snake Bar, he got mad at me and, you know, he wanted to fight me. So I signed up a, a contract so I can box him and I beat him up. He can't fight, man. Look this book, brother. Look this book. Got you, man. Look, this is the book of Sunnah, Sunnah book by Abu Bakr bin Khalal. Okay, okay. Part one, page two fifty-seven. Let the scholar to explain, not me. Nine, uh, three o nine, right? Abu Bakr told us. He said, he said Muhammad bin Yunus al Basri wrote to me. He said, "Go ahead." Yahya bin Kathir, yeah, yeah. Ibn Ghassan, Al Anbari told, told us, us. He said, Salim bin Al Hafar bin Jafar narrated, narrated to, to us. us. He, he said, said Al Jariri narrated. narrated. He said, so they say, see, told me on the authority um, of Abdullah bin Salam. Now go to the hadith. Go ahead. When on the day of Resurrection, the mighty man will descend. descend. Mighty who? The mighty man will Smash descend <laughs> from his throne. 
and his feet will be on the throne. Then Muhammad will sit on the throne. He said, I said to Al Hariri, O oh, Abu Masood, make him sit on the throne. He said, Yes, he makes him sit with him. <laughs> oh, man. Smashallah. Oh, Smashallah, See, man. I always, I always let the scholars explain it, not me. Uh, right? Allah be driving camels too. How can Muslim asking Kafir to explain it, the religion for him, bro? Smashallah. Plenty of questions, but very little Tell answer. me, you are so disrespectful on a text. But Hi, Ahmad. How are you, Ahmad? Hi, Hi, sister. Hi, How are you today? I'm 